Hi, welcome to Penny's Crafty Creations. Thanks for taking time on every day to hang out, chit chat, craft, and create with me. Today I am working on cards and I am using the Paper Studio. I picked these up in a recent Hobby Lobby haul. They were $9.99 original down to $2.49 and it was the last one that I could find. It's a 50 pack. It comes with the envelopes and the cards. It's five and a half by five and a half. So I'm using those and then I picked up this on my recent Hobby Lobby trip yesterday. I only bought two things. I bought a planner and then I bought this so I didn't feel that it needed to have a a haul video done but it is card phrases and there are 14 of them and it was originally $9.99 and it was down to $2.49 and they largest one I believe is the get well soon and it's just under four inches and they're about a half an inch to an inch I mean a quarter of an inch wide so I really like those. So what I did is I went on my Cricut and I wanted to have all the pieces the same size. So I cut my pieces five inches, five and a half inches long by an inch. And I thought that would be perfect to fit on my cards. So I wanted to have it go completely across the card as you can see there with the sentiment on it. And then I want my background to be one of my Dollar Tree stamps. And I picked these up over different hauls. And these are the four I've seen at my Dollar Tree. And it is the bird one. This is the one I'm going to be using today. And that is the code for that. And then the love one, that's the code for that if you're interested. The butterfly one, this is one of my favorite sayings, enjoy the little things. And I absolutely love butterflies. So that is the code for that one. And then the dream catcher one. And that is the code for that. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and stamp my background. And I have used these um, to see how they would work. And because my background is blue here, I want to go with a black um, inked up back so I'm gonna go with actually the gray one here by color box it's a nice inked up pad so my my card is going to sit like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and ink the bird all the way around I'm gonna turn my flash on maybe you can see a little bit better so I think I'm going to go with the flying bird and it sits nicely against the acrylic block. I have a little bit of a hangover, um, hangover. <laughs> the bird is hanging over, not me. So I'm going to go ahead and just ink that up all the way around. And I'm just going to go different markings all the way so you can see how beautiful that's going to turn out. I'm not worried about that little piece because it might be covered. So like I said, I just want to go and mark it. I'm not worried about how dark it's going to be going all the way around for my background. For a Dollar Tree stamp, I, I must say, I was really surprised at the detail that they got with them. You don't get a lot of detail with um, some stamps, so I was really surprised. So that's all marked. Let's go ahead and put that back. I also picked these up, um, I think it was last year, that are the Inkaways. These things are awesome. Even though they are a little over a year old in my stash here, it works really well still. And they have a lovely scent to them. I'm just going to peel that off. And I like to keep these so that I can see where, what they look like. 
ink there. Don't want that. So I'm just going to take my black and I want to just touch up my corners just to give it a little bit more definition on my paper here. Just to make it pop. So when I lay it down, you can see the collar going around there. So that's what it is going to look like so far. But I want to add a little bit more detail to this part here. So I think I might take the flower and go into each of the corner. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this flower here. And I'm turning it as I go into my corners so that I can have that detail. Okay, so that is done. Put that back on there. Now it's time to figure out which direction I want this to go. Do I want my card to go this direction? Because I went all different directions with the birds, I can choose whether my card opens this way or this way. And I think I'm going to have it open this way because I like that bird there. So I'm just going to grab my glue. on there and I'm using the permanent from scotch and just rubbing into the corners so that part is done then I'm going to take my five by five and I'm going to have this raised up on mine so I'm going to decide which one of my sentiments I want. And I think I'm going to go with thank you. Or actually thinking of you is a good one. And having the clear stamp, you get to see much better where you're inking and how much ink is getting onto your stamp as well. I think that's why I lean towards them more than the others. So I'm going to take that off there because I want to use my grid because I want this to be more even in the middle. I'm just going to go right down and give it a good push down. And that really came out beautiful. Give that a brush. So I have some foam tape from the Dollar Tree here. And I'm just going to run it along the whole entire card back here. Grab my scissors. And before I lay it down, I think I'm going to add another layer of that color just to accentuate it a little bit more. And I'm just rubbing it the same way I did the other piece across the stamp just to give it a little bit more pop. And I'm, what I'm doing on the corners is I'm just brushing a little bit more so that you get that more defined corner like that. So you have a little bit more of a def definition in your corners. So they kind of pop more. And I'm using my grid again here. 
to help me line it up because I want to get in the middle so I have it's a five and a half so one two three four five and a half I want to go on this white line here get it as close to that edge as possible and on this one as well and then give it a push down and there we go we have a simple little thinking of you card okay so now that we're done the card we're gonna go ahead and do the envelope to match the card and what I like to do with it is on the back of the, the envelope where you want your address to be is over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stamp, the same one that I did on the card, both of them, so that they match up. And I'm just going to do the same thing that I did before. Feel where the edges are so because you, you don't want a flat stamp. You can run your nail across there the same color that I used before so the name is gonna go here I want to go work my way around here so I'm just gonna start with the bird there I want to leave room for the flower there And I'm going to turn the bird this way this time. And I want to leave room for that flower, but I also want to leave room for the name. So I'm just going to go on an angle here. And then clean up that one. And then grab the other one. And I like to have them as a matching set, kind of. Feel for those ridges again. And then just give that little flower there and I think I'm gonna get it right under this bird's wing there as well and right at the bottom so we have that on the front I'm gonna do the same thing on the back I'm gonna twist it and I'm gonna add my flowers first on this one and I think I'm gonna go right over that flap so that's going to be our flowers and then I'm going to switch over to the bird again. Again, feeling for those ridges because I set it down. And I want that bird to be like that on the back and then there. And that didn't take a lot right there, so I'm going to line it back up and push down. And then I think I'm going to turn it so that we get kind of the tail end of the bird here. There we go. So that is the back of the card. Now the fun part is you've kind of got like a drawing space now, so if you want to go ahead and color them in, you can color them in using whatever you like. I prefer colored pencils, but you don't have to do colored pencils. You can use markers or whatnot. Just make sure your card is not inside when you're doing the markers in case it bleeds through. You don't want it to affect everything that you just did. So I'm going to go ahead and color mine in. I will show pictures at the end of the video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.